All right, so I'm going to start you off with a couple questions from what we did the last time. So take a minute, just pause the video, read over these, and just double check that these all make sense. If not, you may want to go back and check the video, the first video from section 1.1. All right, so now that we're back, let's name three collinear points. Remember, collinear is something that's on one line. So there's actually two answers to this. If you follow this line here, there's three. If you follow this line here, there's three as well. So I'm going to answer points F, J, and E. All three of them are on one line, so they're collinear. All right, name plane EFG in another way. If you look at EFG, they're right here. There's these three points. They're actually talking about this front surface which is the front rectangle of that rectangular prism. E, F, G, there's also point H, point I, and point J on that. So we're gonna use E and F again, but instead of using G this time, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna use H. So points E, F, and H make up a plane as well. Uh, how many points lie on line E, C? Shown, there's only two points. Or, there's somewhat of a trick question here that realistically there's millions and millions and millions of points on that just they're not shown so we can answer infinite points as well intersection of gh and ie if you follow gh you follow ie they both cross at point h up here so we've got h and then name a point that is coplanar with a b and c remember coplanar means on the same plane so a b c is this back rectangle that we're looking at all the way in the back so a b c and point d now if you've got any questions on those go back check the last video come ask me uh, during class either one will work let's take a minute review what we did last time points lines and planes have zero one and two dimensions one capital letter two capital letters or three capital letters i guess i should probably add a capital letter here as an example uh, point a line AB or plane ABD. All right, so intersection of two lines is, well, if you think about it, if I were to draw two lines, let's make sure I got arrows on the ends. All right, here's one line, here's the other line. They cross in the middle, and the spot where they cross, it's a point. Let's call that point A. So they cross at a point. So lines cross at points, planes cross at, Let's think about it. If I were to take two planes, and I've already got one drawn because I tried doing this and it took way too long, and I just covered it up with a white box. If I draw two planes, and remember dotted lines means it's behind the picture. I've got this plane here, this plane here. They cross so that they actually go from here to here. Let's get that in a different color so we can see it just a little bit better and let's change it so it'll make a straight line. If I connect those two, it actually is a line. Intersection of two planes is a line. Intersection of two lines is a point. Oh, wait, my lines are disappearing. That's not good. Let's try that again. That's what the magic pen does. So, how do I draw this? We got one here. You also could draw, think of if you look at the corner of your room, any corner of the room that you're in right now, there's a wall that meets another wall. The spot where those meet, that corner, that line, that edge, that's the intersection of two planes. You can draw it like that as well. So, how many planes are shown in this figure? When we go through this, a, B, and C are on W, so I don't want you to count that parallelogram and the triangle A, B, C, but let's count all the other sides. We have plane W, we have this front right side, so that's 2, we have this left front side, that's 3, we have the back is 4, and the top, that makes 5. How many planes contain E and F? So if you look at E and F up here, they make a line and the intersection of two planes is a line. So how many planes contain both points? We're gonna say two. We're looking at, let's change colors, we're looking at this plane over here, F, E, A, B, and we're looking at this plane up at the top. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that now. 
All right, four, point, four points that are coplanar. It's got to be on the same plane. Uh, you have four choices. Any one of these rectangular sides going around the shape, around the uh, triangular prism. So four points that are coplanar. I'm going to pick this front side. I'm going to pick E, B, C, and D. All right. Are A, B, and C coplanar? Any three points are coplanar. I could have given you any three points. I could have said A, B, and D, even though it doesn't look like it. A, B, and D are coplanar. You could take a two-dimensional shape and place all of those on that two-dimensional shape. So that answer, if you're given three points, are they coplanar? The answer is always yes. What's the intersection of these two planes? So we have to find a line. All right, let me get rid of the drawings that we have already on here. E, B, C. So I didn't have to erase that one. That one was already traced. E, B, C, and C, D, F. So plane C, D, F is the one back there. Now, if you look, where did I draw twice? I traced line C, D twice. So line C, D. Let's put some arrows at the end because planes do go on forever. Line C, D is the intersection of those two planes. And the intersection of planes A, B, C and EBD. So let's do this again. Let's get rid of some of this drawing. So we've got ABC, so the bottom triangle, and then I'm going to trace the plane EBD. And if I trace EBD, let's do that in a different color. Let me do that one more time. Sorry about that. If I trace it again, where is blue and red traced? We're looking at line BC. I find it very helpful to actually physically draw on the pictures that you have so that way you're able to visualize it. I'm a very visual learner and some of you may be as well. When you're going through this, draw on any picture you have. Now if it's in a textbook, probably not, but if it's on a quiz, test, worksheet that you printed out, draw on the pictures. Anytime you have a picture, it's there for you to use and you want to use it to the best of your ability and that includes drawing on it as much as possible. All right, so if you have any questions, look back at the video, double check the other one from section 1.1, and uh, that's all for this one.